In that ocular rosacea, what is the effect in the eyes? What happens? So mainly what can happen is uh, the, the conjunctiva, so the, the white part of the eye can become red. You can get actual swelling of the eye, mainly like the upper eyelid. You can get um, dryness of the upper eyelid margin. You can develop styes in the eye. So the itching, burning sensation of the eyes. And when a patient comes in and they're first diagnosed, uh, What's the conversation you have so they can start understanding that, you know, yeah, there's no cure, but, you know, we can help you with this? So the most important thing is just setting realistic expectations for your patient. So the first thing I start with off the bat is this is not a curable condition. We can manage this for you. We can get it under control, but I can never cure this for you. And some, one thing that patients do have to understand is that sometimes even despite being on a good regimen, they can still have a flare you know, at one point or another. Sometimes it's inevitable. Um, but the, the first step is just really kind of educating the patient well about the condition, setting realistic expectations for them, uh, letting them know that even once you start a treatment regimen, you will not see results right away. Patients okay. expect like a miracle cream. No, it takes some sometimes four to six weeks for you to start seeing an improvement in that skin. And so let's it's a talk slow process. Okay, sorry for interrupting no, okay. you. When it comes to treatments, let's talk about the options. Is the first line of treatment um, an antibiotic? Um, Med so when you're talking about prescription products, yes, typically uh, a topical antibiotic is what we tend to start off with. But actually what I always tell patients is that one of the first steps in managing rosacea is actually establishing a good healthy skin barrier. Okay. So patients who have rosacea, their skin barrier is compromised. It's not like a normal patient's. So you have to baby that skin. That skin is so sensitive. So I always tell patients, what we're gonna do is basically put a liquid band-aid on the skin. And that's what you achieve mainly with your gentle cleanser, your moisturizers, and then yes, on top of that, we you know we, we mix in some prescription products. But first step, establish a healthy skin barrier. Uh